my god. This wall is coming to get me. What's up everyone? Hello! <laughs> Welcome to Sudden with Fallout 143! Oh holy shit, and I told you there wouldn't be a Swallow today, but here it is anyways! Holy shit! Well, I just figured out that, you know, I could do a Swallow. I could probably do a Swallow. I'm just gonna do it earlier before I go abroad, huh? You know, I'm not gonna lie, this is... This what I'm doing right here is work, but also I sort of enjoy work a little bit. Is that a thing? Can you enjoy work a little bit? I have a sense of pride of releasing the Swallows every week. Obviously, you know, if something bad happens and I'm not gonna be able to do the Swallows, I'm not gonna do the Swallows. If anything's like important, like family, you know, I won't do the Swallows. That's just how it is. But now, you know, I'm going abroad with my family. I can still do the Swallows before, you know. Keep it going, buddy. Let's keep it rolling! Hello, new guitar! What? You say? A new guitar? What's the difference between this and the other one last week? Well, this is a 7 string, obviously. Didn't you see? Huh? It has one more string. It's one better. It's the XC 1.7 Ola, and it's available from OlaEnglandShop.com. No, it's not. It's, it's available from SoloGuitars.com. That's my other website. Fuck me, man. <laughs> You remember last week I released my new single? Well, if you've been to my Spotify or other Apple Music things, you might have noticed that the Chug project is gone. Where did it go? Did Ola delete his Chug project because of drama? Or something? No, there was actually a mistake when I first published the Chug project, because when I published it through my publisher, you know, I wrote the artist name, the Chug project, but then it came under Ola England artist name. Which, it was not supposed to be like this. You know, the Chug Project is mine, but I wanted it to be under its own artist name, the Chug Project. The album name was supposed to be named Volume 1, but now the album name is the Chug Project Volume 1 on Ola England artist. That doesn't make any sense. So, I've switched to the artist, the Chug Project, okay? Album, Volume 1. And this is for a good reason why I'm doing this right now, because sooner or later, Volume 2 is coming. <gasps> My man! So the Chug Project will be up, uh, I think it's 6th of July, so you just have to wait a little bit, and then I'm gonna you know, push it wherever I can push it, so you guys can go follow that artist, because you also need to go follow that artist on Spotify and shit. So there you go. Uh, the news? So, as you might see this on a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning, you might think like, huh? Is this really news? I saw this like two weeks ago. Well, it's because of the simple reason that I'm recording this Sunday with Ola early. I told you, okay? So the news might be a little... old and shit, but uh, let's go. Anyways, Cannibal Corp are... Ah! Yeah, man. <laughs> Cannibal Corpse have announced a new album and released a new single called Blood Blind and the music is written by Eric Rutan and I must say, personally this is a new era for Cannibal Corpse Eric Rutan is such an awesome fit to this band you have no idea and this makes me really, really excited for the upcoming album. This new single is going balls deep into my soul. It's sludgy and it's everything that you will want 
from a new Cannibal Corp song, in my opinion. So I'm extremely excited about the album. The album Chaos Horrific is out September 22nd. Which, of course, it's also produced by Eric Rutan. Of course. I can't wait to hear this album and I can't wait to see him live again. Hopefully, they'll roll through the Sweden area very soon. Also, another album announcement. Death Clock is releasing an album and they're also talking about movie release dates for Metalocalypse. 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 Death Clock has officially announced Death Album 4 for August 22 and is now streaming the comical brutal new single Awardic Desecration. Better yet, will release their final and highly anticipated new movie Metalocalypse Army of the Doomstar digitally and on Blu-ray come August 22nd with a whole new uh, soundtrack album available August 25. So, oh shit, the movie is coming August 22nd. Holy shit. And I've said this as I demoed the uh, Brendan Small guitar that I have not seen a single episode of Metalocalypse. But I made a decision. I'm gonna watch it now when I'm going abroad with my family, okay? It's something to watch on the flight, maybe, or on downtimes and shit like that. So I'm gonna catch up, okay? So I can stay, you know, up to date with this stuff. Metalocalypse uh, Army of the Doomstar features an insane cast including Tommy Blacka, Victor Brandt, holy shit, that's awesome. King Diamond, Mark Hamill, Kirk Hammett, John Hamm, Scott Ian, Amy Lee, uh, Hewlett Mills, Malcolm McDowell, Larry Newman, Raya Jarbro, Livia Sita. Anyways, I'm looking forward to this. I know you guys are as well. Uh, let's go. Nearly three decades later, Korn and Adidas are finally collaborating. Collaborating. All day I dream about Adidas, yes. Despite the song using the brand names as an acronym, Korn ultimately signed a deal with the clothing company Puma in 1998. Dude, I remember this. Adidas certainly sent the band some gear, but the two Newer officially collaborated on anything until now. Corn vocalist John Davis told Kerrang! in 2021 that he was pretty pissed at the time that Adidas turned the band down. Doubly so in recent years that other artists got deals with the company, but not Corn. I mean, Corn is the Adidas band. No, everyone had the track suits and all that. They basically looked like half Eastern European or something. You know, Gopnik. Get this shit, said Davis. Their reply was, Adidas is a sports company. We do sports, not music. I will look out in the crowd and see all kids wearing Adidas shit at our shows, but they couldn't do anything for us. Uh, whatever. F this is so boring. <laughs> Why am I reading this? It's because the f***ing terrible news at the time. I I'm saying it sucks. It's summertime. Nothing's happening. All right, shit. Let's move on. I'm sorry, you guys. What's that? A Gibson Custom Shop Richie Faulkner Flying V Custom in Pelham Blue unveiled by the Judas Priest guitarist himself. Okay, what is this? That is freaking cool. That looks great. And Richie Faulkner. Oh my god, he's such an amazing player. I actually saw him. He was opening up for Pantera with Elegant Weapons back in Hamburg. Oh shit, you will see that later in this video, in the vlog. Oh, let's watch. <laughs> All right, EMGs. You got a Floyd Rose on there. Let's see this. Do we have specs somewhere, baby? Give me some specs. Faulkner Synergy Active EMG humbuckers. Describe the pickup as having a design comprising uh, an only go five magnet. Double locking Floyd Rose vibrato. Okay, is that a thousand or fifteen hundred? Doesn't say. Those who bagged one for a price of seven thousand of your US dollars uh, would have got a certificate of authenticity signed by Faulkner and got their hands on one that will be surely one of the most soft after sought after metal guitars of 2023. I must say, it looks sick as hell. Seven thousand dollars. That is not sick as hell. <laughs> Dead news. Oh, hello there. Uh, I'm all England. Solar Guitars uh, and also YouTube and The Haunted and I also have a band called Feared, allenglandshop.com. Uh, me and Luis are heading out uh, to a location. Uh, what do I mean with uh, location? That's a place where we can take pictures of guitars. I saw this from the, uh, the subway station. Uh, when uh, we drove past that and I figured like let's take a guitar there and do a photo shoot and we have one guitar over the you know the old England X the seven string one so we're gonna, gonna bring that over there hopefully we'll snag a couple of cool pictures and uh, yeah you know I think I think that the weather is good right now it's like what is it overcast that's what you call it and uh, we've been waiting for this because we've had sun for so long and hearing us complaining about having too much sun, that's just the Swedish way. Yeah. This is the way. 
Ah. Okay, got the guitar. Okay. Eat ass tonight. That's great. Knark grass. What? Ah, shit. Ah. Ah. Help the vegetation. I don't want to film too much of the uh, graffiti because that's, you know, maybe that's a statement of some sort, and we don't want statements. Skal vi putte den lidt længere hit på? Ja, jo, precis. Men det får man ju... Det kan man också justera. Yes? Do we, do we have enough? Unless you want to go inside. We just take a peek. Uh, that's a that's a good starter. What is that? Oh, it's an old police. What? Well, oh, shit. Maybe we can't uh, film here. Maybe it's not okay for us to take pictures, but we did it anyways. Private land, no camping. Uh -huh. Camping. Oh well. Well done, Louise. Let's uh, head back home. What's up? Adventures with Ola, hello! I'm on my way to Hamburg to watch Pantera. Again! I'm in my car right now on the way to the airport to uh, fly to Hamburg and this was the initial plan that I had to watch Pantera again. Pantera tribute again. I thought it would be tough to go to Sweden Rock and watch them so I decided to go to, you know, get a ticket in Hamburg instead. And then when the Sweden Rock gig kind of, you know, moved closer and closer, I was like, fuck man, I got to go see him at Sweden Rock. So now I'm going to go there. I'm going to watch him for the second time. And uh, yeah, man, flying to Hamburg, it's like a one and a half hour flight. And yeah, let's go get your pull, buddy. Hello. Okay, I can't feel my blood.
free Pantera ice cream. Look at that. <laughs> I can't. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dude, Have a nice, nice to meet you. Nice See you in there. <laughs> You can do it, man. Go see you all your guitar lessons in action tonight. <laughs> Cheers, my brothers. Dude, right, guys, I'll you see got you. You're gonna kill it, bro. You got it. Det är hunden, hej! Det mår du! Det mår du tjej! Jo, vad fin du är! 
Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, good son. Hey, buddy. Hey, what? Quite a little boy. What? What? Hey, what? Oh, yo. What? Hey, Okay, now I'm back home and uh, I wanted to reflect uh, a little bit on this whole thing. Let me just lay down. Very comfortable first. Uh, and, you know, share a little bit about what happened uh, that you necessarily didn't see in the vlog. There's pics, by the way. There was a couple things that happened uh, that wasn't in the video, so I, I figured I would just speak about it instead. First of all, the show was incredible. It was absolutely brilliant. Uh, they were incredible, and to be honest, better than they were at uh, Sweden Rock a couple of weeks back. Uh, however, that was a festival show, and this was their, you know, the one in Hamburg was their own show. It's a completely different beast altogether. Anyways, they absolutely killed it, and I'm so incredibly happy to be able to hear these songs being played live again. And, you know, I could see that in the audience, too. You know, people have been longing for this moment to hear these songs being played live. So you really saw it in the energy of the audience, which was incredible. So before the show, I got brought backstage uh, by uh, Dimebag's guitar tech Grady and uh, Charlie Benante. I got to meet them and talk to those guys, but I didn't film there because, you know, that's their, that's their safe space, you know, their home and, you know, th th their work environment. I mean, you don't really want to invade on that. So I didn't film anything backstage, but I did talk a bunch to both Grady and Charlie and I also got a chance to talk to Phil Anselmo. And he seems to be in such a great space right now. And uh, I felt a really good energy from him when I was talking to him. He told me that I was a great guitar player. And uh, he said something that I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. He said that my name was on the list, you know, when they started talking about this Pantera tribute thing. My name was on the list. Wow. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there's so many other better choices and the alternatives, but just knowing that, you know, I was considered, even like if I would have been on the bottom of the list, doesn't matter. It's, it's unbelievable to me, man. It, what? Tell that to 15-year-old Oli. That uh, doesn't make any sense. And that brings me to talk about Sack, who was on absolute fire uh, at the gig. He was just spitting leads, and he was just showing that he's the only you know, valid choice for this job. And he was, mm, it was just so freaking good. And since I saw him on Sweden Rock, you know, from an audience perspective, I felt that, you know, I could watch it uh, from the side stage this time in Hamburg. But after a while of standing there and filming at the side, I was like, no, this is not where I belong. I need to be in the audience. So I went back into the audience instead and watched the whole show from there. I mean, I wanted to see my favorite band, and the audience was really, really freaking loud. They were loving it. And, uh, you know, as I'm standing there watching the audience and, you know, thinking about my own feelings in regards to this, I feel that, you know, this is the right thing, you know. And I also see that I have some sort of a, like a double, you know, thing right here. Look at that. I got my own fucking necklace. That's terrible. That's a terrible angle. Why, why do I do this angle? Okay, let's do it like this. Look at that. Young Ola. I feel that this is the right thing. And, you know, right now I don't have any doubts about it. You know, it feels good. So, yeah, an incredible experience. If you do have a chance to go catch uh, Pantera right now, don't skimp out on it. It's an incredible show and an incredible experience and a great celebration to the brothers, in my opinion. And with that said, thank you so much for watching my vlog and I'll see you in another video. Check out this, by the way. This is my healthy little uh, midday snack right there. Uh, look at that. You know, when you get old and need to eat proper, that's what you got to get right there. Anyways, guys, peace out. <sighs> oh my God, Pantera in Hamburg. It was amazing. Also, if you want to see a longer vlog, because the long form of vlog doesn't fit in the sun with all. I have to make a shorter one so it's more digestible. But if you want to see the full experience of the vlog from uh, when I was visiting Hamburg, you can go to Ole England channel number two. Go up here, subscribe to that channel too, because that's where all the longer videos are now. You know, I saved the vlogs for that. The vlogs that are in the Sun with All Life, they're longer versions or uh, the tests or whatever. They're on Old English channel number... Uh, yes. So go there, subscribe to channel number two. All right, my beautiful friends and people. Thank you so much for watching this Sun with Ola. Uh, I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. While you're watching this, I'm probably in where? 
I'm, I'm in Switzerland, I think, with my family. But I'm probably still in a premiere. I mean, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I have time. Next week, there's going to be a Sunday with Ola, so don't worry about that. And we'll just see for the rest of the summer. I, I will probably be able to make a Swole every Sunday. So don't worry about that, guys. I got you covered. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time.